is to see how to get started on Gmetrics, preparing for the Photoshop exam, and completing your courses so you can start to learn more about the exam. Once you're logged into Gmetrics, and as long as you've plugged in your access code, then you should be able to head on over to the Courses tab. So I'm on the home page. I'm going to the Courses tab now. Now that I'm here, I want to go ahead and select a course. As long as your teacher has given you access and has given you a code to redeem, you'll either get a box here that says you need to redeem a code, in which case you need to go ahead and type that code in and redeem it, or if you've gotten here already, then you can go ahead and click on the blue icon for Photoshop. You're going to click to do this course. So once you're here, you have a few things available for you at home to study. You have flashcards, you have a memory game, you have a quiz. You also have vocabulary terms and definitions that you'll run into on the exam, and it's really good to look these things through. When you're getting started, it's definitely good to take a look through the student workbook as well as the student support files. So keep these things in mind as you prepare to get your Photoshop certification. I am um, going to go ahead and start off in domain one. When you are completing these lessons, you want to walk through them lesson by lesson. And so right now, starting domain one, you're going to go to domain one, working in the design industry pre-assessment. You're going to start off here to see what your knowledge base is like and hit start test. This will show you how well you're doing, what kind of things you need to study, and it'll give you a good idea of what the Photoshop exam is actually going to look like. Once you're done doing the pre-assessment, you can move on and watch the Domain One Working in the Design Industry videos. So this is how you get started in your Gmetrics course for Photoshop. Best of luck to you all on the Photoshop exam.